Hey, what's up, everybody? This is DDS. Excuse me, um, my allergies are going crazy right now, but I wanted to get this video out to you guys. Okay, so this video is about a common question that I get asked, and that's how do you save your CPU when you're making beats? Like, how do you use less of it so that way it's not like overloading and skipping and causing a bunch of just basically throwing you off your beat because it'll skip and everything. So I was sitting here making a beat to like to get it to the point where it will do that but then i said that's not really necessary so i went and if you own signal you know sometimes it can be a cpu hog and i was using it building up i had three instances of it and there was no cpu problem for like the first time that's ever happened to me when i wanted to do a video so i just decided you can see the meter right there i'll just show you how it is with two of them running and what i do to save cpu so if I know that this is the tempo I want to leave the beat at or like I don't want to change anything else from it, I would just go like this. Like while it's playing, you can see the meter is halfway and that's only with two instances of it. So first thing I do is I go right here. I'm going to mute this. I go to the second sound number two and I go to sample. Excuse me. And I turn my source into internal. And now that it's on internal, well, you saw my voice was there before when it was on my um, interface. But now it's going from the internal. So let me play it. So now you see the meters jumping. So this is four bars. So I'm going to change the length to four bars. <sighs> Excuse me. And I'm going to put it to, I might just leave it at sync this time. Uh, I'll put it on detect. Let me make sure it hits the point and I'll turn it down a little bit more so that way it'll be ready to go so basically what you do is you start it it won't start until the sound goes over that so let me go ahead and go okay thought I had it at four bars automatically I don't know, I did, but it didn't stop recording on its own. So let me just play it just to make sure that's what it is. But anyway, I'm going up here. I'm going to cancel this instance of it out. All right. That was a chord, I guess. So I right, got those out. So let me go back and play it. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't put it on <laughs> one shot. So let me put it on one shot. And I'll change the polyphony to one just in case I got to restart it. Now you see the difference in the CPU now. The CPU is barely being used. So now if I decided to come in and play this one, the CPU jumps back up because of the other instance, but I'm gonna take care of that one as well. And that should also keep it down lower. Hopefully you can hear me over the sounds, but let me go ahead and get this one going. All right, so now I'm on the second one. Let me go ahead and mute that. And then I'm gonna go to Second sound, internal, master, detect mode. I'm gonna do sync, cause that's probably what I should've did anyway. That's why I didn't stop on its own in the last one. I don't know what I was thinking, but like I said, my allergies are acting up, so forgive me. I'm all over the place right now. So I'm just gonna hit start, and then go ahead and start it up. And note where the CPU is, it's right up there. Okay, so now it's done recording, as you see. So I'm gonna go right here, cancel out this instance of it. Go to the sound, well, it's fine right there. I'm clicking it in right there. Polyphony to one, excuse me, one shot. That's where the CPU is, but I'm gonna go ahead and delete this, these instances out of it all together because they may still be doing something in the background just a little bit, just to see. Yeah, see, there's <laughs> no CPU being used right now. So I could go from there. If I wanted to add more to it, I just add more to it. Well, let's let CPU now. This is how, this is how I do it in machine. I know you could do it in other DAWs like FL Studio and all that. Basically what you're doing is recording the audio from the VST and setting it on its own little, I don't want to say section, excuse me, its own sound, I guess. 
And from there, it's playing just like it would with the VST. And then from there, you can save up on your CPU so that way you can do more. Because I know it's nothing more frustrating than when you get into the groove of making a beat. And then you have the sounds that you want. And then you have to try and figure out a way to take the sounds out or something. Because it's just getting distorted and the CPU is going crazy, going slow, glitching, all that. You don't want that at all. So just hopefully this helps somebody somebody asked me to do a video on this i had it on my list i've done it on my live streams before i've been asked about it numerous times so i said why not make a video about it so hopefully you all found this helpful if you knew this already hopefully you still enjoyed this video <laughs> if you're new to my channel please subscribe if you're not new i just want to ask that you just continue to support me i appreciate all you and i hope you all have a wonderful day if there's any topics that you guys want me to cover about the machine like this like with the screen video just let me know i'll get on it um, i appreciate you all hope you all have a wonderful day take care